So today I'm going to show you the DigiMemo, which is, uh, it gives you the ability to handwrite information and then the blind student can take this nice little thin pad and uh, convert all the printed handwritten information by themselves on a computer. And so the blind student is going to take this pad to class with them, they hand it to a, a sighted student, the sighted student makes notes, as you can see, and then they hand the pad back to the blind student, the blind student takes it to the computer and it will convert all this handwritten information uh, into text for them that their talking software will read. So let's just go over the DigiMemo. So up here is the turn on button, so let's go ahead and turn this on so I can sh show you some of the functions. And it, you've got a tiny little window up here and it can show you that it's on page three and the page is empty. Let's go ahead and hit the up arrow and you can see page two and there's lines on it which means there's handwriting on that. Let's go up to page one once again there's handwriting on that also. So the student, the sighted student is going to go ahead and push the uh, down arrow button until the page is empty they know the page is clean and they can begin writing on it. It has an erase button right here so if you want to erase a page you can easily erase that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go up to page two. I will show you that. Page two you can see the writing on it. Let's go ahead and hit erase and it erases the content. It asks me again, are you sure you want to erase that? I say yes and the page is gone. So we can actually reuse uh, page two. Uh, and then of course if you want a new page you just push your new page button and as you can see it changes to page three. That easy. So I always have the students keep the whole pad of paper on the digi uh, pad. You cannot write through this much paper. So what I have them do is flip all the way to the end. So this is a page that I was working on and uh, of course it came out very clean. We have a Z for a two uh, in it forgot an N, but basically it gives you a really nice clean copy and I just printed this out, but of course you can open this on your computer and your talking software will write it. It does not do graphs. Uh, or anything like that, but it will type out the printed information. But of course, uh, a paraeducator or a braille transcriber will do up those graphs for the blind students so they can relate that to their notes. So at the end of class, the sighted student, of course, is going to rip off their notes. They take it with them and then hand the board back to the blind student. The blind student takes it to the computer and converts it. Now, this is the surface that they're writing on, so it needs to be uh, a pretty clean page. So about two pieces of paper is all that the kids should use before they rip it off. Here's the digi writing tool. You just take off the cap and it has a nice little tip for writing. It's just a metal tip. And there's a place to store this at the bottom of the pad. You just clip it in to the bottom of the pad right there. So it's all very transportable. You just stick it in your backpack and go. So blind student's going to hand this to the sighted student. And as the teacher is taking notes up at the front of the room, the student is going to go ahead and uh, write information. So they can just start taking notes. And I'm going to copy information just as the sighted student would in class. It cannot be cursive. Uh, cursive does not work well. It doesn't, the software is not that sophisticated yet. And I can write over the lines. It doesn't have to be perfect uh, because it will transfer. So let's say I wrote that whole paragraph just as a sighted student would. And then they start writing formulas because in math class, let's face it, they have a lot of notes being taken uh, that are not given out beforehand. So the student continues to take notes at the end of the class period. Uh, the sighted student once again rips off the paper. Uh, they turn off the digi pad. The blind student takes it back to their room and uh, and then and then they're going to going to go ahead and translate that into text. So let's move to the computer now and translate that. So the digi memo uh, just hooks with a USB cable and you plug it in to the and you plug it into the top 
just like that. And uh, the USB just goes into the computer. So let me put the DigiPad down on my lap and bring my laptop up now. And I'm going to uh, just take my USB cord and I'm going to put it into my computer. So now let's watch what happens. Let me get this flat so you can actually see all the information that's going to occur now. And of course JAWS will uh, handle all this very well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do a start key M to get to the desktop. And it is my script, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on that. My script's open. Now you can go ahead and get a trial version and try it out for 30 days to see if you even like this. So the script notes opens and all you have to do is do a control O. And I know that I plug this into my G drive, so G colon, and I open. And I'm going to shift tab up into my list view of folders. I'm going to select and open. And there's page one. And I wrote on page three, so I enter. And there it is. So now that I want to convert it, I'm just going to hit F5. And all I have to do is hit enter. And there it translates. So let's try even a different conversion. So, uh, and as you can see, let me show you how clear that is. So let me bring the camera up. So there was the handwriting, not perfect, not even in slight degree. And then there is the print version. And really, the only thing that's off is the comma right before 0, 0,365. But if this student is taking a math class uh, and they're doing decimals that day and their math, uh, hopefully they know that that really is truly supposed to be a decimal. So let's do a control N. No, I'm not going to save that. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and open, so control O, shift tab up into my list view, down arrow to 3, and enter. And there it is. Uh, so now let's go ahead and convert it, F5. Now, you'll notice handwriting style uh, down at the bo very bottom. Let me show you that. So uh, the student can actually determine, well, what type of handwriting style are you actually doing there? So let's shift tab. And of course, you've got graphics and text. So if you have a lot of graphics, go ahead and choose the graphics and text. Uh, I want to go ahead and shift tab. There's language. And there's the handwriting style. And you can go ahead and up arrow. And the student is going to have to remember that capital letters is the first, hand print, handwriting. So if the blind student hand, uh, gave it to a person who really is more of a handwriting style, uh, then they know that that's the one. And I keep that on the default because let's face it, there's not a lot of people who uh, print really, really straight. But let's go ahead and try the handwriting style. And then they're going to convert. And so let's go ahead and examine again. So there's the hand cursive writing and, and there is the print text. Both the print and the handwriting did a beautiful job of translating that information. Uh, the only mistake in there is actually the comma. So that is how incredible this program is. Uh, a blind student can completely get handwritten notes uh, independently. So I would highly suggest trying this feature out. The software, the handwriting software is only about a hundred bucks. Uh, the DigiMemo is uh, around a hundred and something. It depends on if you can get a, a sale or not. So really for a couple hundred dollars, this is an incredible tool. So after the student is done with it, is you're going to hit F6 to hear correction, and you hear correction, and then do a Control A, select everything, Control C to copy, Alt Tab, and paste. And that really is the easiest way to go back and forth. You have to remember this is going to save as script notes. Uh, so it really is far easier to select it, copy it, paste it into Word, and. Jaws talks it perfectly. Days, so, uh, an incredible tool.